Shedzian finally clicked this merge pull request button and the results are amazing. This is their new chart component which is really easy to implement and I couldn't wait, I had to try it out. This is the result, in only 2 minutes you can get this awesome looking chart component which is working both in light and dark mode and it's also responsive, it's working on all mobile devices. How cool is that? I immediately implemented it into the Orkish full stack admin on the analytics page and look how it fits perfectly into this admin. I really like dark mode in these charts, although light mode is looking great also. What are you, dark mode type or light mode type? Tell me in the comments. And without further ado, let's implement some charts in Next.js. As always, we are starting from the fresh Next.js application and first thing we are going to do is to initialize ShedCN UI library. We are inside of the documentation and we are clicking get started. After that installation and after that Next.js. So I'm going to run this npx shedcn UI latest init command into my terminal. And now we are going to choose default, slate, and yes, we are going to use CSS variables for colors. So everything that we clicked is the default. And now our shedcn UI library is initialized. Next thing we need to do is to put all this stuff to our layout. So inside of our layout file, I'm replacing this whole interline here for our font. So we have here our CN, which is helping us to be able to override our Tailwind classes. And we are putting new class name here, where we are using that CN and couple of classes with our font. So this one is fine. And finally, we just need to import our font into the tailwind config ts inside the extend we are putting the font family and here we are importing our font only thing we are going to do is to put convert require to import and that's it now we can install our components component that we are looking for is brand new so you can see here the badge new chart and here it is, this is the chart documentation page and you need to know that they use recharts under the hood so for some additional documentation you can check out the recharts library and now what we need to do is to run our npx shedcn ui latest add chart command. So I'm running that one to install the chart component and it should be installed, here it is. So now we need to add this one to our global CSS. This is for our design and we are putting it inside the globals. So I'm just putting it here below the other teams. And then we can start implementing our chart. Our chart is going to use this chart data array to display all the data. And that is great because we are going to receive this one from some backend on our real project. And also we have this chart configuration. Here you can put whatever you want, currently we have label and color, we can literally put images, icons, whatever you can imagine, you can play with it. And then we have everything to copy and paste so we can use it. And I'm going to copy this one and here inside of our components I'm just going to create a new component and call it views because these are some kind of views or something. So I just copy pasted everything, I'm not coding and I'm going to display it on our page. So here I'm going to remove all this default stuff that we have from Next.js and I'm going to display, I didn't change the name here, so this component should be views and inside of our page here I'm going to pull our views component, just like this. Removing the image, we don't need it and now here we have our chart. So this is the basic version, we still don't have any tooltips, the grid behind or anything, but as you can see, it's working. All we needed was like one minute of implementation time. If I wasn't talking, it would be 30 seconds. Let's try now to implement something more complex. So if we continue inside of this documentation, here they, they're adding grid, then later they're adding an axis and later they're adding tooltip. 
So it's getting bigger and bigger and here they're adding chart legend. So let's try and is that the last one? Yes. Let's try to implement this one. Let's use this chart container. So here inside of our views component, I'm copy pasting the chart container that is the latest there inside the documentation and I'm going to just import all these things that we need. As you can see, everything is being pulled from the UI chart component. And this one, let me just reload it quickly. This one is from recharts, I think. Let's try it out now. Oh no, that one is also from the charts component. I don't know why it didn't want to pull it. Okay, and now let's see what we have here in our create next step. Look at this. So now we have our tooltip, we have our grid behind, only thing is that it's a little bit, yeah, it's only 200 pixels, let's put it to 500 and check it out now. So now we have the grid behind, we have this beautiful tooltip, we have here the legends like we know for what color is for mobile, what color, color is for desktop. It's really looking amazing and if you want to change the colors you can do it just in the chat config. So here if we put red instead of this one we are going to get red and here also of course if you put green or something we are getting totally different colors and you see that it's working in all aspects and also in dark mode we can test it out later and let me show you one more thing here in the documentation on top we have this block it's the same like in on the blocks page so here we can just copy this block and put it inside of our views component we are just going to call it views so our app isn't confused and now we have that whole block working with our chart I implemented quickly light and dark mode just to show you how it's working. So in dark mode, we have this blue color, which is being pulled from our global CSS file. If you remember here, we placed our colors for both themes, for light and for dark. And inside of our views component, here we have our color that is chart one, which is being equal to this one. So we can basically change it to whatever we want and we are going to get different colors for our charts. I really think that this component is amazing and I'm definitely going to use it. Tell me in the comments what do you think and also more content coming up on this subject so make sure to join the horde, subscribe!